Hey everybody, Doug Addison here. It is 111, January 11th, 2018, and I want to just uh, give you this word that uh, the Lord's been speaking this to me, and and I keep hearing that we need to get a New Year's revolution as opposed to a resolution. And I want to just uh, just kind of release this to you, get you ready for what's coming, because you know, God's doing something new right now, and it's exciting. I want you to be part of it. And uh, there's been a shift happening in the spiritual atmosphere. And I got this word, and this is uh, a year right now that we're going to see more breakthrough than we've actually ever seen in the past and ever before. The enemy has overplayed his hand. Listen, there's been tragedies, there's been shootings, there's been earthquakes, floods, fires, you name it. These things, I want to tell you, these things are sent by the enemy, by Satan, to try to distract us, try to distract you from what is coming. And this is the year that the Lord is going to release new strategies for our mission. We really do have a mission, and uh, and, and there needs to be finances to be released right now, especially. And this is one of the reasons that we're going through this, really, is because, uh, you know, we're, it's the distractions, right? It's also that God is about to move. I tell you that the justice system of God is in place right now. And as the justice system of God goes, that means when the enemy lays on too much, that means the Lord must then lay on anointing, lay on giftings, lay on blessings, lay on even revival. We're about to see something move. And I'd like to define revival because, uh, you know, it goes way beyond maybe church meetings, though it might be that. But what's coming right now is something on a, a global level. It's something greater. The last known revival that we had in North America was the Jesus People Movement of the 1970s. And that's where, I mean, this was serious. Like, people came to Jesus you at least expected. And like most revivals, like most big moves of God, the current church structure of that time rejected it. And even when Billy Graham stepped up and said, hey, this, you know, they might be stinky hippies. That was the Jesus People Movement. But they loved the Lord. And that's what's happening right now. We're going to see a revival that's going to come, but it's got to start in our own lives. That's what I want to say right now. Revival needs to start with you and me. And I have been seeing revival in my own life. And I've been having more encounters with the Lord than I have in my entire life over the last eight months or so, maybe nine months. And this is uh, this is a, uh, a sign, first of all, that you get personal Bible. You get personal renewal. I'm going to release that for you in just a minute here. But the Lord gave me this. I released this in part of my prophetic word uh, for 2018 in January on my Spirit Connection webcast about wealth coming. Psalm uh, 49.6. Uh, but those who trust uh, in their wealth will boast in their great riches and the foolish and the senseless alike will perish and leave their wealth to others. And the tombs will remain their houses forever and the dwellings of endless generations, though they name them after themselves. Listen, the Lord spoke this, Psalm 49, verse 6 to me. He said, this is a time right now where people have left their wealth or, or they have, you know, created things on earth with their name on it. But he's about to shift this. And there's a major shift happening with finances because we need it because of the tragedies. We have people losing their houses and even cities being lost. We have to step up right now to finance the revival of people who may not have money. And this is what the Lord is saying right now. This is not about padding our own wallets or ministry or anything like that. The Lord is going to divert the riches and the wealth, and he's going to do it uh, starting. Uh, I, mean, I, I saw it, of course, I'm, since I'm prophetic, Everything looks like now, but I saw it happening the next couple months, things being diverted really quickly. And I saw the Lord taking many people by surprise. What he did, what was he doing was was very surprising. And uh, and the shift that's happening right now uh, that the Lord told me to, to tell you 
start a new year's revolution. I'm having a revolution in my life. That's a personal revival, but it's also getting a plan. See, new year's resolutions don't always work. And bless you if you're able to keep it. A lot of people, the studies and statistics show that people don't do it. And in 2004, I had an encounter with an angel, like a face-to-face -face encounter while I was sleeping. And it scared me. And, and, uh, and the Lord gave me this download of revelation after that about how to break through better than a New Year's resolution. I was able to do things, write my first book in 30 days, lose weight, get, you know, do a lot of things, strengthen my uh, relationship with the Lord. He gave me this strategy and I'm going to be releasing this out uh, again. I do this usually around this time of year and um, where I do a um, an accelerating you into your new year webinar. I'll be going to doing one of those, but check out my blog. I wrote on this. First of all, it can help you get started right now. And it's at DougAddison.com and it's called... Uh, instead of a New Year's resolution, how about, uh, will you do this with me instead? And that's the revolution. And so uh, it'll give you a couple of small steps you can take right now and get get you prepared actually for action. So the key is back basically is to, yes, we need to pray about it, but Christians get stuck in pray about it mode. And we forget about the fact that you know, James 2.14 says that, that faith without works is dead and that we need to do things and we can activate what God shows us. We don't have to actually go full on and go do it. There's things that you can do that will activate what God's calling to you, uh, calling you to do right now. So we're going to be doing um, an accelerating into your new year online workshop. It's an online group coaching with me. And it's going to be January 20th, Saturday from 10 to noon Pacific time. And you, you don't have to attend live. You do need to register. Uh, we've made a special price right now. It's normally $37. You get the notes, you get the, you get all the stuff. In fact, I'm going to give you some worksheets and things that, and you'll come away. This isn't just teaching. This is something you'll come away with, uh, the tools and equip to do a plan for this year. And we're going to make it a special price, twenty dollars and eighteen cents, because of twenty eighteen. And uh, again, you don't have to uh, uh, be there live because we'll send you the replay. But you do need to register, and it's happening uh, next week. So you want to check that out. Uh, where I'm going to bring some of my classic breakthrough strategies that I got from that 2004 angel that's helped millions, literally millions of people write books, lose weight, get a better job, start a ministry, do all kinds of things. And we have such good feedback around this also. Uh, I'll, I'll be giving you the tools uh, that you need. And I'm going to add to it, not just my classic stuff. That's where I, you know, I talk about this stuff in the past, but I'm going to add to it some timing things for right now and how to align yourself with what God's doing right now. So I want to release this over you in just a second here. Uh, I will remind you that, um, that we had such a great response for the prophetic lifestyle training kit that we're going to, uh, we actually extended it uh, uh, to, uh, on sale until the end of the month for $39, normally 150 Normally it's in the vault. We don't even have it out anymore. But because uh, the revival's coming. The Lord told me to bring that out. And it's basically how to give prophetic words in public, how to do an outreach, how to be an outreach, how to prophesy in Starbucks, how to speak non-religious, how to get the encouraging words. I took this workshop all over the world uh, for a number of years. It was my life message. And now the Lord's were, just told us to bring it back out for uh, until the end of the month. You can check that out. But be sure to, to check out my new podcast as well. It is What Season Is Your Soul In? And that's with me and and uh, my good friend Elizabeth Enlow. That's Johnny Enlow's wife. Uh, session uh, episode number 39. She talks about her new book about the seasons of your soul. And you can get a real breakthrough. Actually, how to figure out where you are right now in your season. That's the, that's the you know, that thing when you go to the mall or something, you see that map, you are here. That really helps you. So I open the podcast with talking about times and seasons, and then I go into the interview with her, and it's really, really powerful. Anyway, check that out. So Lord, I would just pray right now that you would open the heavens. I ask God for this New Year's revolution right now, the New Year revolution to happen. 
God, I ask that you would impart all that you have right now for all of us. People who need to get unstuck. They need to get out of addiction, out of depression. They need to write their books, start jobs, get a better job, start a ministry, go to school. There's so much the Lord's calling you to do right now. And I impart that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Go to my website, DougAddison.com. Check all that stuff out and see you soon.